Debbie, thanks so much for calling in uh, on, on short notice. Oh, thank you for having us. Right on. Now, you are with HouseSittingExperience.com. You know, what is your motivation for getting involved in the house sitting uh, movement? I'm not sure whether you want to call it a movement, but approach to life. Well, our, our motivation was actually, um, it, it was sort of a fluke. We, we moved from the U.S. We downsized, we sold or gave away everything that we owned, but about 26 small boxes. Mm. Moved to Australia and decided that we might rent an, or, or buy a caravan and that we were just going to travel all through Australia so that we could decide where we might want to settle down. And what has been the interest? You know, how long have you been uh, doing this for? We've been house sitting for two years. No, no, and we're but, the but, new kids on the block with our website. So, so yeah, and when, you're the new kids on the block. So just the last few months, or yeah, I'll give you one thing. I like the story. Seriously, the our story page. Yeah, I was going. You've got a che- Czechoslovakian. No, wait a second. Your, your your husband is Australian and Czechoslovakian. Yes, and he's sitting right next to me. You want to say hi to him? Sure. Let's have him on. Put that stud on the line. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. Joseph. However you want to call me. Right. I'm right here. Gotcha, mate. So apparently, you swept this lady off your feet, off her feet, thirty years ago, when you were a ski instructor. And do you want to add to the story? What were you doing in the United States? I uh, I was a ski instructor actually in Australia for a while. Then I uh, started to work in uh, Keystone, a ski area in Colorado. And that's where I met Debbie, then went back to Australia. And there was an exchange program of ski instructors from Threadball Ski Area in Australia with Vail, Colorado. Right. And so I had an opportunity to go there, went back to Colorado, and we were still hanging out with Debbie together. So we did, I was supposed to go back to Australia and didn't want to split with her. So we got married, and the story goes on. And then we lived in Colorado and worked in Vail for uh, 27 years. Uh, I had a construction business. And then eventually we decided to move back to Australia because it was always Debbie's dream to go back there. And lucky for me, I kept my Australian citizenship with allow us to uh, live here as uh, we speak. So. And we're discussing their website, which is housesittingexperience.com. And they, uh, they're explaining how they got involved. They moved from, uh, you know, they met in, in the United States, but recently decided to go exploring in Australia. And so they've had that that freedom to investigate what house sitting is and they want to share with others. So stay with us, folks. This is The Stateless Man on the Overseas Radio Network.